Russia. Simp shirts. The anti simp shirts. Ministerjab.com. Church merch. The link is at the bottom of the video. All right. All right. All right. Streets ordained. Minister. Minister Jack. AKA. Brother Beige. AKA. Jack Luther King Jr. AKA. Light Skin Lucifer. Cook. Hoes getting took. Pussy niggas shook. Cause I'm the coochie crook. Here to bring back the order. Restore the dignity. So you tricking ass, licking ass niggas? Stop being a bum bitch's toilet seat. All single mothers shall suffer. Y'all some broke dumb motherfuckers. And all my niggas in the church. They pulling out with the rub. I'm the all-knowing of the hoeing. All these niggas do it. Bring your ass to the church. And I'm a motherfucking show. It's time to put in work. Going heavy in the church. Put these pussies in the dirt. I'm about to go scorch earth. Perfect. So tell a friend. Tell a friend. Tell that nigga again. Minister Jap is in rare form. In the church is checking in. Church, 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 church. Talk to me, you fucking pervert. Pervert. All in. Pervert. 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 All in. Pervert. 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 What's going on, niggas? What's going on, man? How y'all feeling, man? We just here to cook. We ain't here to hurt nobody. Oh my God, man. It's lit, man. Everybody's lit talking shit today, man. It's about to be, it's about to be extravaganza. These motherfucking trick ass niggas on Instagram. Fam, they are so passionate. I turn them motherfuckers into single mothers quick. They be having the spirit of the bitch. You niggas gotta get on my Instagram, man. That shit be fucking hilarious, man. All the trick babble and trick 
in the trick logic that comes through my motherfucking comment section. Them niggas are furious. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you got to look at this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, man. We got the uh, the Super Chat family checking in. Much love. Let me see who we got in the building. Coming through, showing love. We got Deacon Weasel with our first Super Chat. Weasel in the building. We got Cheese, a new church member. This is his first Super Chat. His first time Super Chatting us, man. Much love, brother. Appreciate that, fire. The ladies just showed up. We got happy Latina. We sing live. But I'm moist and saturated. Attending the sermon today. Five dollar holla. We appreciate that. We got Miriam coming through with the TBAS. These saturated niggas. Appreciate the 10. Y'all hit the like button. Y'all hit the share. Stop being moist. We don't play that shit. I feel the rain. 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 It's raining all over me. I'm moist. I'm moist. Call and response. I said I'm moist. I'm moist. Good God, I'm moist. Yes, I am. Rain all over me. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. I'm saturated. Yes, I am. I'm saturated. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm damp. I'm damp. I'm damp. Smells and twisted MD coming through with the five. Cook these rotten fishes, bitches. You already know. We go hard and heavy on a hoe. Didi I mean, appreciate that, bro, with the five dollar holler. Open the floodgates. That nigga was saying like he pissed on himself for the Lord. He pissed on himself in the name of Jesus. You gonna piss on yourself in church, man. What's up with you toilet seats, you pervs? Oh man, goddamn man. Salute to all the new Patreons. I've been seeing y'all come through. Patreon right now is only five dollars, man. Join the Patreon. Join the Patreon. You know? Yeah, that episode last night was heavy. We had to put that one on Patreon. Y'all niggas was going crazy. Y'all ain't finna have the feds kick my door in. You niggas wasn't playing about them pregnant bitches. All right, so today we are going to talk about weaves, wigs, and kids. The definition of a black woman this is her religion. This is her rites of passage. You know? This is her this is her existence. You know, you know, you got Indian people. What are they known for? You know. Uh uh IT, you know, uh they're known for IT being dentists and telemarketers.
Fucking mm-hmm. doctors and shit. Then you got the Nigerians. What are they known for? Working in hospitals. Selling dashikis. Driving cabs and Ubers is scamming. And going to medical school. Now, the Mexicans, what they known for? Cutting grass, you know, restaurants, you know, gang banging and tattoos and paint. And doing roofs and shit. Odd jobs and shit. What are, what are niggas known for? <laughs> Fried chicken, you know, uh, 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 criminality, fat bitches, weaves, wigs, and kids. So we all got our things that we know them for. Niggas said loitering. <laughs> Say that. One thing you niggas better fear is a fat bitch at Walmart, I'm telling you. Shout out to Dupree's, man, coming through with that $5 dollar holler. My main man, Brown Hornet, day one, coming through with the $5 dollar holler. Fat bitches at Walmart, man. That is a, a terrible sight. But if you ain't ready for weaves, wigs, and kids, you are not prepared to deal with a black woman. I'm sorry. It's a package deal. It's a package deal. If you can't accept her with her wig and her weave, take her how she is with her wigs, weaves, and kids, then I don't know what the fuck it is, nigga. Hair, hat, wearing females are irrelevant. Priest minister. Yes, that's one of the first signs that you can tell a bitch ain't shit. A weave. A weave. A weave says a lot about you. A weave says a lot about your mentality, how you think, how you view yourself, what you want to do, who you want to look like, who you idolize, what your mentality is. Weave is, weave is the dumbest shit ever, man. We got a race that spends more on hair than anything else. If you took that energy, if if black people took that energy that they put into buying weave, black women, we would dominate the fucking housing market. If you took that and put it into real estate, we would dominate the housing market. You know? There's women that won't go outside, won't do anything unless their hair is done. Might put a hat on. I'm not wearing a hat. Like women have black women have to have their hair done or they look like men. That's the scary thing about black women. Without weave, we wouldn't know you were a woman. And now that these niggas getting weaves. And putting on dresses, it's very hard to tell the difference. That's why a lot of niggas just opting out of fucking with y'all. I won't start respecting black women until y'all start checking the trans gentlemen for cultural appropriation of y'all weaves. Y'all demeanor, y'all demeanor, y'all attitude, and y'all swagger. Because they are no different than you, except for they got dicks. And y'all wish y'all had dicks in the day. I want to really, really break down this weave wig and kids thing, and we're going to uh, we're going to uh, absolutely drag uh, the talentless, um, biting uh, thief of intellectual property. Known as Kendra G. (laughs) 
The Kendra G Show is the Make a Wish Foundation for Black women. That's what I have. That's what I have deemed her show to be. Now, this is a show where black women who are at the lowest of low can come on her show and make a wish. <laughs> they can make a wish. You know? She's literally become the black woman Santa Claus. He said, without weave, they would look like Terrell Davis. Damn. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, these bitches be looking like Brother Polite with a wig on. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, I was born a woman's. Have y'all seen Kendra G without a weave? Oh my God, it's a scary sight. Let me see if I can uh, Google that real quick. Kendra G, no makeup, no weave. Now, I don't mean to scare you guys on a Tuesday, but I don't give a fuck. I don't. I do not. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if we can find Kendra G with no makeup. She's just such a potato head. Potato salad head ass bitch. Let me see. She ain't got no eyebrows. Tell you that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I remember what show it was. She did have a weave, though. It was that Corey Holcomb show. Wasn't it that Corey Holcomb show? Let me see. She looks terrible. I'm moist. God damn it, I'm moist. Let's see, man. Woo! She got a motherfucking five head, nigga. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me scale this down a little bit. This is a big earthworm gym head ass bitch. Big, big healthy skelter head ass bitch. Hellraiser head ass bitch. German Shepherd. She's the Germanist of Shepherd, nigga. Y'all see that forehead she got on her standing next to, sitting next to Corey Holcomb? You like an east side crackhead. You know what I'm saying? She got the weave and the wig. She just don't got the kids. They frozen in the refrigerator. She got the weave and the wig, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And a whole lot to say. See, this, this, this really, we, the weave really symbolizes, man, the lowest form of black woman, man. You know, I would take a black woman with, with dreadlocks before a woman with a fucking weave. You know, and that's pushing it. But, you know, fucking weave, man. That, it's embarrassing. Y'all embarrass us with every hairstyle y'all get. You know, and in the manner in which y'all go get that shit. You know? What the fuck did she just put in here? Oh, a bunch of fucking faces. Okay. 
Man, she, I don't, she ain't got no eyebrows. Let me get this bitch off this screen, man. This shit gonna scare me when I look over here. This shit gonna scare me if I start looking over there. Moist bitch, man. You know? But black women will go without for weave. Now, that's the crazy thing. Black women will sacrifice everything for weave. You know? Before she get her oil changed or change her tires on her car, she gonna make sure her hair and nails done. You know, black women have to wear weave because they don't have hair. Their hair has been been burnt, fried, dyed. You know what I'm saying? Since they was fucking ch children, man. Just be honest with you, man. That's why I like. I have a thing for women with hair. I like hair. I like women with long, real hair. I don't like German shepherds. I don't like bitches with fades. I don't do all that shit. All the bitches who don't have hair wish they had it. All the bitches that's cutting their hair, that's a coping mechanism because they know their hair don't grow no more. You know what I'm saying? I like bitches with some fucking hair. That's that's ladylike. The bitch with some hair, that's ladylike, man. You know? I just don't get these motherfucking hoes running around here with these fades and bitches walking around here with baldies and shit. You know what I'm saying? But they have to do that. Oh, it's a protective style. You know, nothing says lazy like a bitch with a weave. You know what I mean? And when, when I tell y'all all the time, when a bitch wears weave, automatically her pussy stinks. Automatically her pussy stinks. I'm going to tell you three hairstyles that are certified bitches with vaginal odor. Number one. The brandy braids or the micro braids. Any bitch walking around talking about a protective hairstyle, her pussy stink. Shut the fuck up! Perfect. She don't want to take, she don't take the time. See, have pussy is not something you can just wash with a rag. Or, that is a, that, that is a delicate wound. You know what I'm saying? A bitch got a motherfucker put effort into keeping that motherfucker upright. You can't slack on your pussy. If you sneeze wrong or wear the wrong jeans, you'll get a yeast infection. Glued on lace fronts, bonnets, fake baby hairs. We don't talk about it, Jerry. Relax. Him and Rose say black women take care of their wigs and weave than the than actual hair. Yes, they do. That, that defines lazy. The braids define lazy. Okay? Braids define lazy. Oh, this bitch is lazy. She ain't trying to do her hair. You know what I'm saying? She's not trying to do her hair. I re like I said, I respect. I have a newfound respect of bitches taking all day to get ready. Because you can have a bad problem like a bitch with a protective hairstyle who's ready to go in 15 minutes and her pussy stank and she missed the spot. Well, you can have a bitch that took two, three hours and she ready to go. You pull them drawers off and smell like heaven. Sometimes you got to pick your battles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's one thing I can, I can respect from the girly, girly women. You know, all right. All right, at least you take all day. I know your pussy don't stay. I know your pussy don't stay. You know? You took all day. You care. You care. A bitch with braids don't care. Okay? A bitch with braids don't care. Second hairstyle. they call it a 21 piece some people call it a sew in this is when these bitches braid their hair into a circle and sew the weave into their hair these holes will leave that matted shit 
on they head for three to four fucking months. You know what I'm saying? If you touch it, it, take, it, it feel like the bitch got a helmet on with hair on top of it. It's like a hair helmet. You know? And the bitch always smacking herself with itch and shit. You know? And if you want to see something really disgusting, lift up the back of it and you see the motherfucking kinks that she don't comb. Got to be very observant when you're going to deal with the black woman. Black woman like a used car, nigga. Let me holler at you niggas, man. What's going on, man? Let me holler at y'all. The black woman is like a used car. Why, Jack? Why? She's like a used car, nigga. She's a high risk. You have got to check. You got to pop the hood. Check the belts. Check the spark plugs. You know what I'm saying? You got to test drive that motherfucker fast. Test drive that motherfucker slow. Hit the brakes. Stop. Hit the brakes. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Gotta let that motherfucker run for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You got to check everything. See if the check engine light come on after two, after two miles or so. You know what I'm saying? Look at them tires. Are oh, those tires bald? You got to look at everything on the black woman. You have to treat her like a used car from a from a used car lot in the hood. You got to cut all the lights off and pull out the motherfucking black light and see where the stains at on this bitch. Hey, the black woman is the used car of the dating game. Shut the fuck up. Salute me or shoot me. <laughs> and get your anti-simp shirts. If you're a real nigga, you need to be walking around with this in public. <laughs> Bitches see this shirt, I wish you would say something. Bitch, I wish you would say something about my motherfucking shirt. With your trifling ass. Shut the fuck up. Milton. You know what I'm saying? You know? That motherfucking sew in. Oh my God, man. It's, it, it, and that's, that's another style they call it. A protective style. Protect you from what? Niggas? Because when niggas get a whip of the back of your neck. God damn. Shut the fuck up. Why does the back of your neck smell like a, a, a locker room, young lady? Why does the back of your neck smell like a locker room? The back of your neck smell like L.A. Fitness. Shut the fuck up! CC's face! You know? Straight up. You know, so that's 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 another lazy bitch hairstyle that they overwear. Oh my god! And then not even not to mention they save the hair. This bitch will reuse the hair again. You know, lastly, one of the worst inventions I ever had, one of the most deceiving inventions that they ever came out with. You know, whoever came up with this, they need to deport them. Send these motherfuckers to the Ukraine. Send them to Gaza. Whoever invented this invention 
is the worst, the most deceiving motherfuckers on earth. Whoever invented the lace front wig. Shut the fuck up! Oh my God. The lace front wig has been a deceiver of men for the last, uh, 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 um, I want to say 15 years. Now, they've been going about 15 years strong with this lace front wig, man. You know, when it was new, we couldn't tell. Let me break down this, this lace front wig to you niggas. So these bitches will braid their hair. Put a stocking cap on. A new color stop, stocking cap. They will put glue all on the front of their fucking head. Then inside this wig, there's like a skin color film that gives them another forehead with baby hair. <laughs> it, it puts a it puts a, a lay a sheath of forehead skin on the bitch's forehead. They glue this shit to scalp. You know what I'm saying? And put makeup on it. This is it, it, this is a big deceiver because some of you niggas, go, oh, she got pretty hair. She got no, it's a lace front, my nigga. The only women who are allowed to wear wigs by real nigga standards are. Elderly women and people with medical conditions of some sort, whether it be cancer or you know other things of that nature. That's the only, we're not talking about them. So you know, oh my cousin got stage three cancer. Come on, man. You know I ain't talking about them, man. You know I ain't talking about them. Talk about Keisha and Tasha with the three baby fathers. <laughs> Shout out staff music, man. Appreciate that. Say a lace front is just a BBL for hair. Y'all niggas are stupid. Shout out Ryder, man. Appreciate that, bro. Say nothing funkier than a sweaty uh twitch with a weave. Yes, it's a very it's a very distinctive stench. Shout out to Freedom. Say, uh, it's called for a forehead mustache, man. Yeah. You know, I remember I seen uh, a chick walking around the grocery store. She had a lace front, and it was like coming off. You know what I'm saying? And you could see the 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 skin thing pucker. You know what I'm saying? It was just disgusting. You know what I'm saying? It's just disgusting. Like, our women are just so unnatural. You have got to add things to black women to make them even look like girls. Because they look like niggas with titties. They look like niggas with titties. And here's the crazy part about black women. They don't ask us, does this, does this shit look good? And they don't care if we like it or not. But you got to understand... There's more simp niggas, weak niggas, undisciplined niggas than men of our prestige and stature walking around in the world. There are thirst, there are more thirst buckets, you know what I'm saying, who will fuck anything that breathes than niggas like us, bro. We are a rare breed, our cloth is cut different. We don't blend in, we don't fit in with them. We stand the fuck out and stay away. That's the same thing I tell these trick ass niggas on Instagram. I'm not trying to fit in with you niggas or compromise or find a common ground with the trick shit. I don't get it. I will never be convinced. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it. And I'm going and I'm going to preach against it 
And I'm going to preach against these old. I'm not, I'm not pro black woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm not pro ratchet. I'm not calling them a queen. I am not fucking Dr. Umar. You know? I'm pro these bitches ain't shit. That's what I stand for. You know? I made a decision in my life a long time ago. You see me with a bitch, she's worth a damn. So only two ways that goes, recreation, recreational use or a bitch that's worth a damn. But I refuse in this, in this time of my life to be even a, around a woman with a fucking weave. We should be beyond that. You know, we should be beyond that, players. You ain't fucked enough Tasha's in your life? You know? We should be beyond that, players. Why do you niggas go backwards? It's like a nigga who, if you riding foreign, you don't go back. You don't go back to a Ford. You know? You don't go backwards. It don't feel the same. It don't. It. You know what I'm saying? When you in that foreign car, it's a it's a prestige. It's a it's a feeling. You stand out. Why do you want to go back and blend back in? Why are you regressing yourself? Why are you regressing yourself when you're supposed to be elevating? You haven't graduated from the motherfucking uh, weave wearing bitch yet? Shout out to Fitter None with that 10 piece, man. I appreciate all my supporters, man, supporting this show, man. Hey, you don't go. You don't go from riding a BMW to going to go get yourself a Taurus. Shout out to King Yada coming through with the late feet, man. I appreciate that, Church. You don't. You you. If you known to be the nigga with the motherfucking uh uh the BMW and you know you're moving smooth, and next thing you know they see you in a motherfucking Honda. What's the first thing the street's going to say? What happened? They see you with a Kardashian, a motherfucking Spicy, a, a, a J-Lo or something like that. And then you come back with Lupita. The street's going to be like, man, what, what, what's going on with bro? What, what happened, man? What happened with you, bro? You know what I'm saying? You come back with a uh, uh, Vivica Fox? What? What? Would, if, if Vivica Fox was a car, what would she be like? A a 300 C with with rims and Mexican tints? All the accessories you can get from AutoZone. You know what, what, what you, you don't, what? Huh? Yeah, you know, at least you got a car, at least you got a bitch. Okay, well, you know, that's how I look at it. Okay, at least it's a bitch. It could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse. But damn, bro. You know, you don't even want to park in the front no more walking around with that bitch. <laughs> You know, you got the you got the bitch with the weave, nigga. You know? That's not a trophy, nigga. That's a participation certificate. You 
could never be a man's trophy with a weave. Shout out to Terrence, man. He say they will kill their roots with perm and ampro. What the fuck is ampro? Okay. Shout out to Air Max. Big facts. Appreciate that, Tim. Uh, Arnez, appreciate that, Tim. Let's see. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. What's this nigga, man? Let me see. Go Kiza. Appreciate the five. He said, Kirja G, fake ass Kevin Samuel show is a uh, make a wish for a fake bitch. <laughs> Salute to the, uh, the minister in the church. Long live. And prosper, my brother. Hell, yeah, man, you all pop back up with these bitches with weed. Like, man, what the fuck, nigga? We ain't in high school no more. You know, niggas want real women. Real women don't wear weeds. Let's start there. A real woman don't wear no goddamn weave. That shit is unattractive. Let me let me ask the 600 some people in the room. We going to do a poll. Do you find weaves appealing? Shut the fuck up! I'ma let them cast their votes. I'ma let them cast their votes then. Black women, if you're healthy, but you still wear a weave, just eat a gun yourself. God damn. You know, and this is really for the brothers in here. Are you attracted to weave? Do you like women with weave? Because obviously they're not doing this shit for us. You know what's a scary sight? You want to know what's a scary sight? When a black woman take her weave out. When a black woman take her wig off. If you roll over to your bitch and she take that damn bonnet off and she ain't got weave, she don't even look like a woman to you. She don't, that's so fucked up that as a child, the black woman has conditioned her daughters to have a dependency on weave just to look like a damn woman. Only a nigga with no dignity, no respect for himself, would tolerate that shit. That should bother you. If women want, if black women want to stand out, grow some hair. Black men been telling y'all for the longest. We don't like this shit. And you spend too much money. Your average bitch right now in the times that we in, because they voted for Joe Biden, 
They spending about two, 200 to 250 every time they're getting their hair done. Real talk. Now, a bitch with some real hair does not spend anything close to that. She a, she a curl her hair, she a iron her hair. You know what I'm saying? Put her shit in a ponytail and be ready to go. Let her head down. Ain't nothing like a bitch with some real hair. You bitches got to go buy the hair, then pay this bitch to do this shit. You know how much they spend on motherfucking, uh, these so-called, uh, 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 lace fronts and... The good hair, that's why they robbing stores and shit for it. That hair is expensive. I remember I was dating a chick for a, a quite a long time when I was younger. And this bitch got her income tax. And I guess this was back in the days when you can claim motherfuckers kids. She had a homegirl that had about four or five kids. And her homegirl was selling kids. That's what they do in the hood. They sell kids around uh, 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 tax time. Don't act like I'm the only motherfucker who from the hood and y'all, I'm the only motherfucker that's seen that shit. You do know motherfuckers sell kids around tax time. Let me shout out, uh, bro, before I miss him, man. Just Christian, appreciate that 20 piece. He said, I saw a 15 year old chick on the Steve Wilco show that had her friends on there to take a lot of tech to test because she worked all summer to save up for a wig and one of them stole a wig. Ain't this the dumbest shit? Boy, we getting passed up and lapped by other races. They women are not thinking about spending that type of money, a summer's a summer's worth of, of working to put a fucking wig on. What an idiot. Who raised her? What single mother raised up? D Nasty say that we plus still, uh, I think you want to say, oh, backup DNA. Oh, below the waist equals a terrible pH balance. Yes. I told you, man, weave is the first indicator of her pussy stink. You automatically wrote off. Oh, that's a weave, your pussy stink. You know what I'm saying? So, what, what was it? What was it? What was it? Yeah, man. These women have a dependency on weave, man. Oh, I was telling you about. Um, so, I'm dating a chick. You know what I'm saying? They were selling kids during tax time. She got an income tax and got about, I think, eight or ten thousand dollars. Now, usually, you know, with the jobs we was at, we wasn't getting nothing but about like maybe two thousand dollars at the most, and like uh, and and uh, income tax refunds. You know what I'm saying? So you know, a motherfucker with no kids, she ain't got no kids. I ain't got no kids. So you know what I'm saying? When she told me she got eight thousand, I'm like, man, let me hold this. I got this play. I'm finna invest in. You know what I'm saying? Because I was about to throw a, a party at a club. Let me flip the money. We can charge at the door. I got, I got a whole situation. I've been trying to do this for a minute. And it's the perfect time. Nah. You know what I'm saying? The bitch went and bought. I want to say. A Chevy HHR. And spent 2000 on. Two. Wigs. Shut the fuck up! I said you spent two thousand dollars on some wigs. What the fuck? And she had hair, and she was mixed, and she had hair, but she hung with ratchet holes. And that shit rubs off. 
So she wanted to fit in with these hoes. I couldn't wrap my head around why the hell at the age of that, you didn't even go get an apartment. You still in with your mama and you spent $2,000 on two wigs. And put them dumbass wigs on and look stupid. It's like, I hate weed, priest, priest minister. I got you, bro. You say, please debate Uma. What's the debate? About hoes? You can come over here and learn. You know, I'm not going to just want to, you guys want to see me just argue with niggas. Some niggas can't be saved. You know what I'm saying? So I, you want to see me argue with niggas? Go on my fucking Instagram and look at these passionate tricks. You know what I'm saying? In my comments. These niggas treat the passport like it's the Holy Bible, my nigga. Do you have your passport? Did Real you talk. Girl, would you like to come back with Rob to America? America, America, America. America. Do you have your passport? Did you get your shirt? Who wants to come back with us to America? America, America, America to America. my patreon it's a video i got called what y'all hoes gonna do what you gonna what you gonna do when the real bitches come through that's what it's called what you gonna do when the real bitches come through bitches buy brazilian hair and don't look like none of them bitches from brazil and you bring a real bitch from brazil around them hoes they gonna look like men if you put most other races of women next to a black woman your typical keisha's tasha's felicia's Laquana, Duquana, you know what I'm saying? If you put your those typical black women, those indoctrinated, weed-wearing-ass black women next to any other race of women, they are going to look like men. They're big-ass men. Their voice is deep-ass men. Their mannerisms are that of a man. They're aggressive like a man. You know what I'm saying? But deep down, they're really jealous because they don't have natural beauty. Their mothers burn their natural beauty out of them. The black woman's natural beauty was castrated out of her. By the black mother, by the black grandmother. You guys give women a complex. We don't give y'all a complex. Your mother and your grandmother, your sisters and your aunties. When they called you a nappy, tender-headed blackie. That was not your, no man and that was not your father. Stop it. The black man does not want a black woman that looks like a white woman. If a man, if a black man gets a white woman, he's going to, if he wants a woman to look white, he's going to go get, get a real white woman. He doesn't want a black woman that looks like she's Brazilian. He's going to go get a real Brazilian. He's going to get a real Mexican, a real Puerto Rican. So you can put every one of these races of women hair in your head. Take a piece of every one of their attributes that they have physically and you still going to be in the same position. Passed over and left over.
Who the fuck wants a Tasha Keisha with a blonde wig on, blue eyes, and some red lipstick? If y'all hoes really wanted to be beautiful, you would take time to ask men what they view as beauty. Because what y'all do ain't it. You look like a trans gentleman. Say, uh, shout out to Noble Tyrant. He said, a black woman staff member saw a pic of my lady with her naturally curly hair and said, uh, oh, I'm sorry, and has, hold on, and has been rude to me. He said me, but I know you meant me. Ever since. Hmm. Is your, is your woman a spicy or is she just a, she a sister? What's going on? I need to know a little bit more. She a woman? Is, is she is she a is she a white woman? What was going on? I mean, what's what's happening? Shout out to D Nasty, man. The real women are coming across the border as we speak. Black women embrace for impact. <laughs> I ain't no goddamn passport, bro. It's a difference between a nigga who going on a trip and a, and a passport, bro. That, that movement is about buying pussy. I'm not doing that shit. I don't buy pussy. Don't, never have, never will, don't believe in it. Please don't confuse me with that shit, bro. There ain't nothing wrong with taking a trip. Go see the world. I don't give a fuck. Just take some game. Pack some game in your suitcase. That's all. We just bought this game, man. We just about this game. You know what I'm saying? You know? But yeah, man. Um, I didn't drink up all the Pepsi. I gotta give me another Pepsi. It's crazy about this weave dependency shit. You know, black women can't exist, breathe, think without their hair done. If you if you hoes knew how to do your hair, you know how much money you would save. You know, I would almost say, man, it's about five hundred dollars a month with bitches in hell. On on the low side, you start talking about the uh, the Atlanta bitches and all that. You you going into the thousands? They gonna spend at least a year. They gonna spend at least uh, at least motherfucking maybe the six to twelve. Six to fifteen thousand dollars a year on weave and hair and shit. Hair, just the whole, just the whole hair and nail experience. You know what I'm saying? You know, they never ask the nigga, do do you like when I put all of this fucking rhinestones and all this shit on my hands? Says she's biracial, black, a white mom and a black dad. That's a good combination. That's a good combination. Shout out to Tariq. He, he was the first person to mention that. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this to expound on that. It's a better combination because she was raised by a softer woman. She was raised by a softer woman. You know, so you can get some some wholesome womanly things up out of her. You're not going to get it from her if her mother was a Tasha and her dad was a Gilbert because between the daughter and the mother, they running laps around that white man. He can't keep up. White man cannot discipline no black daughter, no half black daughter, no way. Not with that mother. Not with that mother. Oh, hell no. Well, I said she can wear it. <laughs> oh, man. I just don't want people to, to see her as a sexual object, you know? Well, look, Gilbert, she is grown. She gets good grades. If she want to wear a dress, she can wear a dress. And I'm about to go get her hair done now. Perfect. 
You know what I'm saying? Shout out to T. Stewart, our first sponsor of the day with a $50 holler on the cash app. Shout out to Catherine with that three-piece on the cash app. And Gone Postal with a $5 holler on the cash app. If we get two more sponsors, I'm going robed out shouty, and we finna go in on Kendra G. You are a pervert. Pervert. But it's certainly a better dynamic if you're dealing with a mixed biracial woman that she has a, a, a her as if her mother's anything but black, anything but black, and not Puerto Rican. Puerto Ricans are too black. They they too much of black to be even be considered exotic. I mean, they they look good and shit like that, but they. <sighs> Like that New York, that Brooklyn, that Bronx, and you know, I gotta get a little bit more familiar with that uh with them Dominicans. But um coming from Chicago, the Puerto Ricans are just like fucking black folks, believe it or not. I got a Puerto Rican side of my family, my auntie and them. Them motherfuckers is crazy. You know what I'm saying? They were they fucking crazy as hell. They are. They honestly. I, I. I don't know how they are in actual Puerto Rico. Maybe they're a little bit more softer. But the motherfuckers get. The motherfuckers turn up. The motherfuckers turn up like like black women. You know what I'm saying? Like like straight up Keisha's. You know, Els Morel to give you that work, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They just look better than our women. But they got. They still got the mannerisms. So you know that that Puerto Rican one, that's a uh, it's a little iffy. It's a little iffy. That's that's actually a lot of iffy, but it's got an iffy to it. It's got an iffy to it. You know, you almost just want to just lump them right in. They just a better looking version. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the crazy part about the Puerto Rican. You'll get fooled. You know what I'm saying? But they, 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 them bitches is crazy. Them bitches is crazy and aggressive. They, and because they, and they hang with black bitches. That's the crazy part about it. They, they click, they click up. You know what I'm saying? They just don't look like men with wigs. That's really the only difference between the Puerto Rican woman and the black woman. The, the Puerto Rican woman look like an actual woman, the black woman like a nigga with a wig. So we can almost throw we can almost throw them in there too. You know what I'm saying? We can almost throw them in there too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight up. But you know, the white woman, you're gonna get a little bit more softer, you know. You, you know, because the girl was nurtured, she wasn't yelled at all goddamn day. See, you know what I'm saying? The 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 the, the mother Tasha, big Tasha. Yeah, she yell at them kids. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you get you get that out of her. And then when she see her daddy, her white daddy, all she do is ask him for money. She learned that from her mama. That's a terrible combination. It might look good, but it's a terrible combination. For you, it's a terrible experience for you. It's a terrible experience for you. You know? Ain't gonna be no just because gifts and surprises coming from no uh no mixed bitch. That was raised by a black woman. I'm telling you that now. My man D Nasty is coming through, man. What's going on? D Nasty, the only one got love for the church? He say, uh, have sex with a black woman in the shower. Do the same with a spicy. Tell me which had a shower cap on. Wow! Let me tell you that. Black women who wear weave don't wash their hair every day. Black women, when they get their hair done, they're not washing their hair for about a week and a half, two weeks. They trying to get their money's worth. That's why they stink. That's why they pH balance off. A lot of that too, the pH balance fucks them up too because of the perms. 
Because those chemicals get in their bloodstream, thus getting into the pussy, man. You know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? Her pussy got cream cheese spread around it when you hit it, nigga. You know? You know, got on a shower cap because she don't wash her hair. You know? She got the same bottle of shampoo that she didn't have for six, seven months. This bitch don't use that shit. Only time she get her hair washed is when she getting it done. You know? That's why your pussy stink. You funk your ass? You know? It tells you a lot when a woman's wearing a wig, man. It just tells you how she's moving and she, you know, and she wants to be typical. You know the stereotypes that come with weaves and wigs. If every, listen, this is how I think. I wish more people would think like this. Let me give you an example. Give us an example, Jack. We not understanding. People don't understand stigmas and stereotypes. You want to make the stigma and the stereotype not true. You want to keep fighting that battle instead of moving around. For instance, black man, you're asking to be fucked with by the police, pulled over all the time, you know, seeing what's going on with you if you buy these three cars. Number one, a challenger. Number two, a charger. You know? And number three, a Trackhawk Jeep. Now, a dumb nigga in the chat is going to say, well, man, that ain't right. Listen, we in a free country. You should be able to ride whatever car you want to ride, and people should be fucking with you. Yes! Yes, in a perfect world, yes, you should. But unfortunately, too many niggas have done so much shit in these cars. It's the most stolen car the most ca cars running from police, the most cars they find with guns, the most cars they find criminals, the most cars they find with motherfucking weed, the most cars that crimes are committed in. Those three cars. And you take your dumb ass to the dealership expecting that you are going to get treated different on the road. I don't do any crimes. So what? You dumbass, you fit the description. I'm still not getting it, Jeff. Is the bitch a car? Let me break it down, you simple fuck. Bitches, if all of the hoes with weave and wigs are ratchet, have kids, you know what I'm saying? are masculine, are standoffish, are obnoxious, you know, have no femininity, are perceived to be ghetto, you know, people don't take them seriously, you know, when you come in the room, people leave the room, but I'm a good person, Jap. Why, Jap? Because these bitches 
have demonized the weave. So it's an expectation that everything I name comes with weave. And most of the time, upwards of 90 something percent of the time, that is the case. If we go to World Star and pull up bitches fighting, what's going to be on the ground, Jack? Weave. If you see bitches fighting in restaurants, going behind the counter, what are they going to have on, Jack? Weave. But you stupid bitches say, well, I got my masters. I'm 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 a good woman. I cook. You know what I'm saying? I'm ladylike. I bask in my femininity, but you wear weave. How are we gonna tell? You don't stand out. You look like the bitch twerking. Dumbass. That's the easiest. Man, there's so many hoes out here. How come I'm not getting chose? Because you got a weave on. My man, Stefan Slayer once say, Jack, Puerto Ricans that don't hang around blacks act completely different. In fact, any race that hang around black women act like them. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's from Chicago to New York. The, the blacks and the Puerto Ricans interact. Real close. You know what I'm saying? You got Puerto Rican motherfuckers getting their hair braided by black bitches. It's just, a, they, they just, they just, they just, they don't, it's not like Mexicans. Mexicans, they, they draw that line. Mexicans draw the motherfucking line. Puerto Ricans and blacks, you know what I'm saying? You know, they kind of, they kind of merge a little bit more in, in, in the urban areas because it, and I think a lot of it got to do with hair texture. Although Puerto Rican hair is not as coarse, it's more coarse than a Mexican. Because the Mexicans, you know what I'm saying, they got like Native American texture hair. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the the, the Puerto Ricans, they got kind of curly hair. You know what I'm saying? We go, we go to the same barber shop sometimes. Mexicans don't do that. You know, you can go, a Mexican can go to supercuts. You know? It just, it just depends. But again, you know, that black culture, once it, you know, once it gets, in, in, into that vein, into your veins, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, just, it's over, man. It's over. It's over. You know what I'm saying? It's over. So I wouldn't pick them hoes. Salute to, uh, who was that, man? Uh, uh, tandem transport, he said, on top of, uh, on top of they spending billions to make Asians super rich, Asian control the weed in the last industry. That's the shit I don't understand. That's some shit I don't understand. I never seen black women march on these Asians, man. Y'all march for anything. March for the dumbest shit in the world. I never seen y'all get busy and, and, and put y'all dollars together and control a market that... I would respect Weave if y'all controlled it. If it was y'all shit, I would respect it. And you ever notice that don't nobody want to wear black hair? Y'all don't have enough hair to actually make a fucking weave set. There's not a bunch of white women trying to glue a fro on their head. Those are facts. You want their hair, they don't want yours. Sorry. I'm sorry. What do you want? What, what 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 do you want me to say? You know, now that these other races of women, especially white women, got asses now, you're done. Oh yeah, you're do you're done. You're back to the drawing board. 
You have to almost die to get in shape. You got to go get a BBL. You've been such a lazy bitch your whole goddamn life. You got to go to get a BBL. White woman eating sliced apple slices for lunch and carrots and celery. You know what I'm saying? Drinking boss water and shit. What y'all hoes got? Italian beef, double dip, extra peppers, cheese. Hold the fries, I want onion ring. I want a milkshake. That's what bitches in the shop be on. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all bitches on. Ain't nothing worse than these hoes in the shop, man. But yeah, wigs and weave are the black woman's religion, man. And we're going to get into this right now, y'all. We just warming up! Hit the like button. Hit the share. Hit the super chat. You know what I'm saying? We're going to take a short, short, short break. You know what I'm saying? We're going to bring Fami Amy up in this bitch. And we're coming back and we're about to work these bitches to death. Perfect. 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 I'm back, bitch. Tell him out. Fame and aim a bad, this time for celebration. Yeah. Bet I feel you got the best head in the nation. The nation? Got a little better, y'all put the guy water. Huh? Still selling broke hoes, get your shit together. Put your own ocean in it, flowing like a landy. Hit him with the head down, near make a panic. What? These bitches can't stand me, but they nigga ain't complaining. Nope. You might be bad, bitch. Promise you ain't fame and aim it. Fame and aim it bad, can these nigga still choose it? What? Still got that super soap, I'm talking good pussy. Damn. That head got better. Pussy got fatter, okay. stupid teddy though. That's why these hoes can't stand up. Wow. Got my shit together and my money looking right. Yeah, right. Pussy dripping, cushy hair, yeah, let's still tight. Okay. Me and Fame and Amy take your man in one night and get that nigga back in one night. That right. I'ma show you what a five star look like. Okay. Go for a five star and pay a five star price. Yeah. Now with Fame and Amy, that's a five star flight. Mm. Very awesome. Smell like backwoods. Backwoods and beef broth. Perfect. You are a perfect. Pussy smell like Lake Michigan in this motherfucker, man. Somebody clip that, make that, make that your, uh, make that your motherfucking, uh, your profile pic. <laughs> Somebody clip that, man. I got a cold Pepsi.
Yes, sir. Love that cold Pepsi, nigga. Love that cold Pepsi, goddammit. But yes, these bitches ain't shit. And if y'all want to stand out instead of trying to fit in, take out the goddamn sew in. Get yourself a grow in. God damn. Instead of looking like a bitch from the low end. You know what I'm saying? But we about to get into this shit, man. You know, bitches, again, man, they fight the power for weave, man. Weave is a religion to the black woman. Always remember that. Weave is her religion. You know? This is what she lives and dies by. This is what she sacrifices for. She doesn't sacrifice for her kids. I've even heard stories of women not, not get eating, like not eating, uh, 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 not getting groceries. Let's say that. Not getting groceries, not eating food. It was either food or getting their hair done for some shit they had to do the next day. The bitch chose the weave. You know, bitches out here doing straight bank heists, trying to, you know what I'm saying, doing some straight set it off shit, like on some Cleo and motherfucking, uh, I forgot the other little bitch. I forgot. Cleo and goddamn Jada Pinkett, nigga. They go in there with masks trying to get, give me all the weave. Nasty say when I was in the army, soldiers with the new uh, uh, black women soldiers with new weeds for the weekend would go on sit call to avoid uh, company fitness runs, no matter the rank. Weave, weave, weave. Believe it or not, weave correlates to obesity. Because black women will do anything to not be moist. They don't want to sweat. That's why they're not going to go to the gym. You know? It affects their health because they don't want to sweat out their hairdo. So she's not going to the gym. She'd rather save up for a surgery. And we already seen, you know, these bitches have a flat stomach, a fat ass, but balloon arms. And they back still got creases in it. I think I missed somebody. Somebody. Oh, Lucky Lefty. Okay. Oh, man, Lucky Lefty. Let me see what he can say. What do you say? Did it pop up? Let's see. Let me see what Lucky Lefty said. Hold on. They say the FDA is working on getting rid of the chemicals that create uh, hair straighteners, and black women are in an uproar. Wow. So they be mad they can't kill their babies. Now they mad about this. Um, but they proposed the the Crown Act. I'm confused. What the fuck is that? I gotta look that up. The Crown Act. Please don't tell me these bitches are getting legislation for weave. It wouldn't matter if it caused cancer. Bitches would still take that risk. Shit, BBLs cause death. Bitches risk their life every day for ass. You think it's going to stop these bum-ass, lazy-ass bitches? You think it's going to stop them? You think it's going to stop these lazy-ass bitches? Bitches will take that risk. They won't die for their children, but they'll die for some weave and some motherfucking uh, some ass. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Make sure y'all go to Patreon and watch that uh that episode. It's three episodes, matter of fact. Cartels and BBLs. Crazy ass series, man.
the crown act is to allow them to have uh braids and dreads all in the uh in the military is that just the military or like in uh in the corporate environment be nasty say that he say uh the crown act is to allow them to have braids and dreads i'm wondering if that's the military or the uh or the um or corporate environment is that what you're talking about everywhere okay so now y'all can't talk about these bitches no more when they come in there with them nappy ass motherfucking brandy i want to be down braids you know what i'm saying or the motherfucking uh little haiti ass them big thick ass dreads that look like uh them big thick ass dreads that look like um, not the regular Cheetos, but the cheese puffs. Like regular dreads look like cheese, like Cheetos. These dreads like cheese puffs, big ass dreads, thick as hell. What they call them? Wicks, whites, whatever. Wicks, yeah, man. That's one ugly ass hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> Culture or no culture, I want no parts of that. Them, them shits look terrible. Y'all remember Gunplay when he had them shits? Them shits look retarded. You go to court, you go to court with that palm tree on your goddamn head. They just, hey, guilty, man. You don't need a lawyer or nothing. Hey, the lawyer gonna save you with this shit in your head, bro. <laughs> you coming there with a mouth full of gold and that shit? You cook. You're a cook. <laughs> you like, man, you have to, boy, you better, you, man, you go up in there with that shit in your head, man, you gonna scare the jury. You gonna scare the jury. I tell y'all niggas, man, stop going to court looking guilty, man. Stop that shit, man. Silas says, the chemicals in hair products probably the reason black women act like Suki. <sighs> shit, man. It's just in black women at this point. It's just in them. You know, they just embarrassing all over, all across the board. But let's get into this, man. Black women won't fight fight a traffic ticket, won't fight a cold, won't fight the power. You know what I'm saying? But they will fight for their right for weave. Bitches are stupid. His sister saying the violence only hurts her community and to take it elsewhere. Burning down shit ain't gonna help nothing. Y'all burning down shit we need in our community. Take that shit to the suburbs. Burn that shit down. Take that shit to the suburbs. This is why I always say black women don't need to be having a microphone. Because when they get a microphone, they say the dumbest things. This is a classic. This is one of the classic dumbest lines of all time. We're gonna set we're gonna set this show off right today. Okay. It's one of the classic dumbest things black women have ever said in history. They need to put this bitch, a picture of this bitch, in the Tariq Nashi. This picture right here. This picture needs to be in the Tariq Nashi uh um uh, uh the museum, man. The hidden, the hidden colors museum. This bitch right here. Okay, Tarnisha. Uh, 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 McFadden. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? T no, no, ta uh, Tarnisha Daniels. That'd be her name. Cam, Cam, say y'all hoes hell lost off the chain. Y'all always trying to talk about me. Y'all in turn into me. You know? Y'all burning down shit we need in our community. Take that shit to the suburbs. Burn that shit down. Take that shit to the suburbs. Burn that shit down. Take that shit to the suburbs. Burn that shit down. We need our shit. We need our weave. I don't wear it, but we need it. We need our weave. Black women need weave. Not a man, not some damn common sense, not birth control, weave. <laughs> and 
and they ain't surrounded by nothing but black women. That's what I said. We as black men have got to disassociate ourselves from all of these so-called movements. Because whenever there's some type of movement, the, the, the white media places a microphone in Tasha's hand. And she speaks on behalf of the people and makes the people look absolutely stupid. Yeah. Church, 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 check in. Listen, if you like this exclusive content, make sure you go over to Patreon, become a member, and you're gonna have unlimited access to all my banned from YouTube content, banned from the public, People cannot take this heat. We dropping straight heat, straight fire. You know how we do. Follow me on all social media platforms. The link is in the description. Again, join the Patreon. It's starting as low as $5. Join. Peace.